I once had a thousand desires, but in my one desire to know you, all else melted away. By Rumi. Hello, beloved listeners. This is Melanie, and I wish to welcome you to episode three of the Harmonious Podcast, where we explore the synergy of crystals and herbs. In today's episode, we will be exploring the combined benefits of the rose plant and the crystal rose quartz. And before we move on, I need to emphasize that everything you learn in this podcast is for educational purposes only. Please do not start or discontinue any treatment or medication based on what you learn in this podcast. It is essential that you consult a medical doctor before initiating or discontinuing or changing any medications or treatments for your physical, emotional, or mental health. And please make sure that you are not allergic to any of the herbs that you wish to experiment with. So let's start today's episode by admiring the rose plant. Its incredible beauty, its heavenly scent, and its mesmerizing colors have inspired us to write poetry and to sing songs and to paint masterpieces. Yet the symbol of love and beauty has so much more to offer as a medicine. The energy of the rose is feminine. It is associated with the planet Venus, and its element is water. In folklore, roses have long been used for love, prophetic dreams, healing, good luck, and divination. In spirituality, Mother Mary is also known as Our Lady of a Thousand Roses. It is believed that the energy of Mother Mary is present whenever roses are present. This is also where the name of the rosary came from, which means a crown of roses. Rose water is scattered when Mother Mary is called upon to answer prayers. Rose water is also scattered at weddings in some countries as a symbol of love and purity. It is also used to aid in meditation and prayer due to its calming effects. Rose water has been used since ancient times and it is primarily made with Rosa Damascena. Rosa Damascena, commonly known as the Damask Rose, is one of the most important species of Rosaceae family and is commonly used as ornamental flowers in gardens and in parks. Roses are used in perfumes, in cooking, baking, and in medicine making. Rose water or rose hydrosol is a natural skin toner as it contains vitamin A and vitamin E. Roses have many medicinal properties such as anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and antibacterial. Rose tea can help suit uncomfortable PMS symptoms such as the cramps, the bloating, the headache, and nausea. Alright, now that we have explored a little bit about the beautiful rose, let's explore the magnificent crystal rose quartz. Named after the rose flower, the rose quartz has a special place in the hearts of crystal lovers. This beautiful pink translucent quartz is the stone of unconditional love, self-love, friendship, and peace. Rose quartz is associated with the heart and the heart chakra. Rose quartz is the best healer of emotions and heartache as it transmutes pain and the energies that no longer serve us as it soothes and comforts grief. Rose quartz strengthens our physical heart and circulatory system. Since heart chakra is located over the heart and our lungs, rose quartz also is helpful in strengthening our lungs. Placed in front of uh, doors and windows and entrances, rose quartz purifies the energies entering the house. Since rose quartz belongs to the quartz family, it is safe in water and it can be used to make rose quartz elixir. 
since I have talked about crystal water and crystal elixir in my previous episodes, I wish to explore a little bit about why we put crystals in water. You may be familiar with the work of the Japanese scientist Dr. Masaru Emoto. He is the author of the book Hidden Messages in Water. Dr. Emoto's experiments involved exposing water to different words, music, and environments, and then freezing the water to observe its crystalline structure under a microscope. Based on his experiments, water exposed to positive words or music formed beautiful and symmetrical crystals, while water exposed to negative words formed deformed and asymmetrical crystals. What we learn from these experiments is that water has memory. This concept is also reinforced when making a homeopathic medicine. Homeopathy is a form of alternative medicine based on the principle of like cures like, which means that a substance that causes symptoms in a healthy person can be used to treat similar symptoms in another person. Homeopathic medicines or remedies are prepared by diluting a substance in water until none of the original substance remains. What remains in water is an energetic imprint of the original substance particles. Similarly, when a water safe crystal is placed in water, or even placed in the outside of the water, the energetic imprint of its molecular structure is captured and remains in the water molecules, as water remembers. So what are some of the ways that we can combine the healing properties of the rose flower and the rose quartz crystal to cultivate more benefits for the well-being of our mind, body, and spirit? One of my favorite ways is to make rosebuds tea and sit in the middle of a rose quartz crystal grid. To do so, visualize a square around the area where you're sitting and place a rose quartz crystal on each corner of this visualized square. Now relax, sip your rose tea and enjoy. Another option is to incorporate rose water and rose quartz crystal in your daily skincare routine. Soak a cotton ball with rose water and clean your skin with it. Leave the rose water on your skin and use a smooth rose quartz crystal or rose quartz face roller to massage your skin. This method tones the skin, calms your facial muscles and nerves, helps the skin to rejuvenate and it prevents wrinkles. Another option is to decorate your room with fresh roses and rose quartz crystals to bring love, joy, and peace into your living space. If you're interested, you can create a rose quartz and rose flower altar or a sacred space in your home. Creating a sacred space helps us focus our energies and be reminded of our intentions throughout the day. You can also place picture frames of your loved ones, rose quartz crystals, and fresh or artificial roses or anything else that is meaningful to you on your altar. Meditate for love and peace in front of your altar. You can also create a rose and rose quartz bath. Fill your bathtub with warm water and add fresh rose petals and a few rose quartz crystals to the water. Soak in the bath to promote emotional healing and relaxation. Another way is to create a crystal grid with rose quartz and dried rose buds. Crystal grids are great tools to help us manifest our desires. Write down your desires of love, romance and friendship fold the paper and place it under your crystal grid now place pieces of rose quartz and dried rosebuds on your crystal grid forming beautiful sacred geometry keep your crystal grid where it won't be disturbed for a few days don't be surprised when your desires manifest into reality faster than ever 
Another one of my favorite options is wearing rose quartz jewelry and rose perfume or rose essential oil. This is a wonderful way to incorporate the energies of the rose quartz and the rose flower into your entire day. Another way is to make gratitude jars. I love making gratitude jars and it is also a great way to recycle and reuse glass jars. So you can create a gratitude jar by placing a few dried rosebuds and a couple of rose quartz crystals in the jar and every day find one or more things that you are grateful for. Write them down in little pieces of paper, fold them and drop them into the jar. Gratitude jars can brighten our mood since they remind us of all the amazing things in our life whenever our focus goes towards more negative thoughts. You can also use rose and rose quartz in aromatherapy. Add a few drops of rose essential oil to a diffuser or place a drop of the oil on a tissue paper and inhale deeply. You can then meditate or simply rest while holding a rose quartz crystal in your hands to amplify their emotional healing benefits. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Leave me a comment and I would appreciate it if you would share this episode with friends and family who may be interested in this topic. Feel free to email me at mindfulmanifest2 at gmail.com. It is mindful manifest and then the number two at gmail.com should you have any questions comments or suggestions until next time stay happy and healthy i am melanie and this was the harmonious where we explore the synergy of crystals and herbs <laughs>